Thanks so much for joining us for another edition of KFFB's Open Mic Program. And we do have uh, Ted Hall with us. Ted is with the White River Area Agency on Aging. And Ted, it is something that uh, us getting together is pretty much a normal thing nowadays. But looking at what's going on in our community, and that's talking about COVID. And one thing that we always need to say is really we kind of back up and do what we did to kind of slow this thing down. The vaccine is out there, but vaccine doesn't make people bulletproof. And we've found that many people are getting the COVID even because of vaccine, because as uh, Senator Bozeman always says, you know, mama told us, you know, you need to wash your hands and keep your fingers out of your mouth and off your face because that's where it comes from. Well, that's right, uh, uh, Bob. And I think one of the things that that I see uh, from uh, someone that uh, has dealt with this throughout the the last uh, 16 months is that, you know, we just have to make sure we all understand what we're dealing with. And and sometimes, Bob, we just all need to get on the same page and, and try to think about what's best for Right now would be our, our individual towns and then our counties and then our state. But really, we just need to get on the same page of what, what would be best for us. And I, I think in our own cases and uh, our offices at uh, White River Area Agency on Aging, we're, we're taking a look at making sure that we continue to go back and make sure we're washing our hands and we're covering our mouth and social distancing and, and avoid uh, touching our face and all those things that you had mentioned. And I think it's important that we that we do that and we try to think about uh, what uh, we need to put in, a, in our toolbox that that would be effective, and certainly shots would be one thing that people need to consider. And uh, so if someone doesn't want to take a shot, then that's fine, but they need to find out know why they wouldn't want to take a shot and go from there. But anyway, it's it, it's an issue that's going on right now, and, and uh, we try to be time sensitive when we talk about not only serving seniors, but actually all the folks that that we live in our different towns and communities and because we care about uh, each other and so we want the best for each other. You know, when you look at this, uh, Ted, we've talked about this multiple times over during COVID when it first broke out and talking about seniors and isolation, we see that. But we also need to be careful of the vulnerable. And I keep mentioning that here on the radio program for Open Mic. With COVID, there's those that are vulnerable. And if maybe you don't get sick very often, you got to think about them. When you go to a grocery store, if you see a vulnerable person, a senior, you know, make sure we keep that social distance. Keep that in the back of your mind saying give them space. You know, Don't crowd them. Don't get too close. And washing the hands is very important. Even if you uh, have the vaccine or haven't been either way, that will protect those vulnerable people. And that's what it's all about. And I think if we kind of just back up and kind of do what we did, we may see this slow down just a little bit. Well, and that's right, Bob. And also, uh, of course, the concern of the health officials uh, are the folks that are under 40. That's what we're seeing now. And we know that uh, that our hospitals are are being uh, they have more uh, folks coming in with this, and so there there is a concern there. And it may be this is a result of the Fourth of July weekend where everybody was together. And we kind of let our guard down. But I think, Bob, you're right. I think we may need to relook at what we've been doing and go back uh, go back and, and figure out the idea of making a concentrated effort in washing our hands and keeping our mouth covered. And, again, the, the shots would be another something that would be in our toolbox to consider. Now, looking also with the Area Agency on Aging, you guys are a great pool of information. If someone's concerned about... The elderly or their mom, their dad, their grandma, grandpa, they can contact you guys. You got the Meals on Wheels programs, you've got the assistant programs, you got an evaluation where someone can be evaluated for their particular needs. And we might speak to that as well. Well, yes, uh, you know, we are the voice of seniors throughout uh, uh, the state of Arkansas, and uh, we, we uh, are in constant contact with our state legislators and our national leaders. And they can always call us, Bob, at 1 800. 382-3205 or at our uh, corporate office, it would be 870-612-3000. And so we can get them directed to, that, to people that might, if they had questions about whatever, dealing with senior care, we'd be glad to do that. And uh, anyway, it's an issue out there that uh, we need to be addressing and face it, but uh, do it in an honest way in a way that uh, we need to work together. And so I think that's the attitude that we need to have. And we've, 
We seem to think, I mean, I, I know we have that in our community. I've been here a long time, and uh, I just hope that we can continue to think in those terms. That's exactly right. So we encourage folks to let's kind of watch our guard a little bit, and especially for the vulnerable and yourself, because they're the ones that uh, we've got to take care of, the vulnerable, and that's for sure. And we appreciate you, Ted, taking time and talking with us as we keep the seniors in our mind.